Hello everyone, this is Tarun Kumar Das working in Kendra Vidyalaya Koraput. Welcome to all of you for today's mathematics class. And today's topic is patterns in parts under the chapter parts and holes of class 5 mathematics under NCRT. Now listen and watch this video properly and enjoy the class. Before going to the class, let's start what are the objectives of this lesson. The objectives are number one, find the parts of color in a given pattern. Number two, draw different patterns by coloring some squares. Now, my dear friends, now let's learn patterns in parts. Here a picture will be given to you and you have to find out the answers of the asked questions. And the picture is, it is a table. And in this table, some squares are there. Out of the squares, some squares are colored and some squares are not colored. So you have to find out according to the questions. Question number one. How many squares are there in this green? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 squares. How many squares are colored blue? Now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 squares colored blue. What part of the grid colored blue? Here you have to count out. There are totally 16 squares and out of the 16 squares, only 8 squares are colored blue. So the parts means we have to say 8 by 16 parts of the grid colored blue. Next question. How many squares remain white? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So totally 8 squares remain white. Next question. What part of the grid remain white? What a part of the grid means totally 16 squares are there? Out of 16 squares, 8 parts remain white. So we can say 8 parts out of 16 equal parts. So it is 8 by 16. So here, 8 by 16 parts blue and 8 by 16 parts white. Now you will get another picture and you have to answer accordingly. Here you can see another picture and the questions are how many squares are there in this grid? In this grid you have to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, then 16. Totally 16 squares are there. So next question, how many squares are colored green. So count the squares, total number of squares colored green. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So totally 12 squares are colored green. What part of the green colored green? You have to find out. Totally there are 16 squares and out of 16 squares, totally 12 parts are colored green. So we can say 12 parts out of 16 equal parts are colored green. That is 12 by 16. Now, another question. How many squares remain white? 1, 2, 3, 4. These 4 squares remain white. So we can say 4. Next question. What part of the green remain white? Totally, there are 16 parts and out of the 16 parts, 4 parts remain white. So, we can say 4 parts out of 16 equal parts remain white. So, in the sense, it will be 4 by 16. So, at last, we can be concluded that 12 by 16 green and 4 by 16 white. Let's draw a pattern in a grid. Now we have to draw a pattern. Remember, there will be a square of some squares, 
but you have to find out a pattern in the green. So here you can have a green up totally. You can say there are some squares are there, but we have to draw a pattern here by coloring some of the squares. How many squares are there in this grid? Totally count out how many squares are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 4, 12, and 4, 16. So it will be 16 squares are there in this grid. Next, uh, color the diagonal grids. This is the diagonal. Diagonal. In this diagonal way, we have to color either this way or you can color also this way. Let's color this way. Here, 2, 3, 4. So here, after coloring, we can say how many squares are colored yellow. Totally, four squares are colored yellow. Next, what part of the grid colored yellow? What part of the grid means totally there are 16 squares and out of 16 squares, only four squares are colored yellow. So we can say four by 16 parts colored yellow. Next, how many squares remained white? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That means totally 16 squares were there. And out of 16 squares, 4 squares are colored and remained 12 squares not colored. That means they are remained white. So we can say here 12 squares remain white. Next question. What part of the grid remained white? What part of the grid means totally there are 16 equal squares and out of 16 equal squares, 12 equal squares remained white. So we can say 12 parts out of 16 equal parts or that is 12 by 16. So now 4 by 16 yellow and 12 by 16 white. So this is a pattern here in the grid. Let's draw another pattern in a grid. Here another grid is provided to you. You have to draw another pattern. Let's draw how many squares are there in this grid. Let's calculate how many squares are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 4, 12, and 4, 16. Totally 16 squares are there in this grid. Next, let's color the alternate squares. That means you color this one, leave this one, color this one, leave this one, then color this one, leave this one, like this. We have to draw, we have to color the alternate squares. Let's color, start coloring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, each. So here the question comes, how many squares are colored orange? Here we can count here, 2, to 4, to 6, to 8. Totally 8 squares are colored orange. Next, what part of the color? Green colored orange. So we can find out here, totally 16 squares. Out of 16 squares, only 8 squares are colored orange. So we can say 8 by 16 or 8 parts out of equal 16 parts. So 8 by 16. Next, how many squares remain white? If totally 16 squares are there, 8 parts are colored. So, remain white 8 parts only. Next, what part of the grid remain white? You have to find out what part. That means 8 parts out of 16 equal parts. Or we can say 8 by 16. So, 8 by 16 orange and 8 by 16 white. This is also a beautiful pattern in the grid my dear friends here there will be a question and you have to color the green as per the given amount here 2 by 8 red half of the portion should be yellow and 1 by 4 of the person should be green but actually how many grid squares are there in this grid there are totally 16 squares let's find out the square the square is here already here 16 squares are available but we have to color 2 by 8 red so let's find out 2 by 8 means how many squares. How many squares are in this grid? Totally 16 squares are there. And 2 by 8 parts of 16 squares is equal to 2 by 8. You can say here 1 part, 2 part, take 2, 2 squares and make it 1 part. 2 squares, 1 part, 2 part, 3, 4, 3 part, 4 part, 5 part, 6 part, 7 part, 8 part. So if it is 8 part, totally we can say if you have to take two parts, one part means two squares, two part means four squares. So four squares should be colored red. Next, uh, half parts of 16 squares equal to how much? Half parts of 16 squares means 16 half. Half means eight squares. Next, uh, 
1 by 4 parts of 16 squares. 1 by 4 parts means uh, you can take 4 parts as 1 part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 part. Here you can take 2 second part, 3rd part and 4th part. Out of 4, you have to take 1 part. Only that means 4 squares. So totally 4 squares. 1 by 4 parts of 16 squares means 4 parts. Now the question arises. Less color, 4 parts red, 8 parts yellow and 4 parts green. So here, but you have to remember that whenever you are going to color, there should be a pattern. It should not be disorder. This should the color arrangement should be in a proper order so that it will look like a pattern. Let's color here 2 by 8 red, half yellow, and 1 by 4 green. So 2 by 8 means 4 parts red. Here 1, 2, 3, 4. So the, all the four corners just to be colored as red. Next, 8 parts yellow. Color 8 parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8. 8 parts colored yellow. Next, 4 parts green. And the remaining parts we can color this green. It will be looking like a beautiful pattern. Draw grids of 16 squares and make patterns with 3 by 16 blue, 5 by 16 red, and half yellow. So let's take a square first. Here is a square. And the question comes how many squares are there in this grid? There are totally 16 squares are there in this grid and we have to color 3 by 16 blue. There are 16 parts and out of 16 parts you have to color 3 parts. That means we have to color 3 parts as blue. Next 5 by 16 parts of 16 squares means 5 parts only. That means 5 parts will be colored as red. Next half of yellow. Half yellow means you take 16 squares make it half. That means we will get 8 parts. So 8 parts will be colored edge yellow. So here comes let's color 3 parts blue, 5 parts red and 8 parts yellow. But remember here also you have to color in a pattern that should be looking like a beautiful design. That means the color proportion should be arranged in a proper order, in a proper rule, or in a proper manner. It should not be in a zigzag manner or in a disorder manner. 3 by 16 blue, 5 by 16 red, and 1 by 2, that means half yellow. So here color, 3 by 16 blue, already 3 parts out of 16 parts color, yellow, blue color. Next, we have to color 5 parts as red. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts as red. Now color half yellow that means 8 parts as yellow 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 parts yellow so this is all about the designing or the making patterns with the given amount my dear friends let's do some fun here there is a question for you take a drawing sheet now Draw a grid of 36 squares. Here you have to draw 36 squares. And how can you get 36 squares? You can take the side of the square, big square, as 6 units. Either it is 6 centimeter or 6 meter or 6 inches or 6 feet like this. Whatever it available, edge per your choice of your paper, you should take the amount. That should be 6 unit. And next, make patterns with 1 by 9 blue and 1 by 9 red and 10 by 36 green. So here 1 by 9 blue means we can say 4 parts as blue color. 1 by 9 red means 4 parts as red color and 10 by 36 means 10 parts as green color. So rest amount will be left as white in color. So here is the green. You can find out here 36 squares are there. You have to draw a grid like this with 36 squares. Then you have to color 4 parts as blue, 4 parts as red, and 10 parts as green. So how you will decorate this one? It is up to you. You have learned in a beautiful way. Now you have to color in a proper manner. Next. My dear friends, if you like this video, Please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Then you can click on the bell icon for being 
notified and if you want some more activities more worksheets or more quizzes regarding the mathematics of class 5 then you can follow me at https tarunkumardash.blogspot.com if you have not followed yet please click on this link or open this link in a window and go to tarunkumardash.blogspot.com and just there is a follow button follow it and find out almost all the worksheets and quizzes totally free for you you can download and enjoy thank you for watching and listening thank you and be prepared i will come back with a new video for you thank you